Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. This is 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac, episode number 11. This episode presents this question, which says, a trader bought goods for 4,000 Naira each. A trader bought goods for 4,000 Naira each. Goods. If you are an English student, you will know that the plural of goods is goods. Plural of goods is goods, greatest of all times. <laughs> so, each for 4,000 Naira each. 4,000 Naira. We don't know how many goods the trader bought, but we know that irrespective of how many he bought, one of them equals 4,000 Naira. He sold them for 180,000 Naira. Wow! Selling price is equals 180,000 Naira. At a loss of 25%. Wow! Even after selling the goods for 180,000 naira, the trader still ran at loss. This means the trader bought many goods too. Seriously? So, the loss is 25%. And don't forget that loss is cost price minus selling price. But this loss is in percent. 25% loss. Which means this is percentage loss and percentage loss is equals cost price minus selling price over cost price times 100 so whether you're calculating percentage loss or percentage profit it's we are always divided by the cost price take note of that now what do we have we have the selling price yes do we have the cost price we obviously don't have the cost price so what do we do we have to calculate the cost price and what are we even asked to do we are asked to find how many goods the trader bought how many goods did he how many goods did he buy? Look at this. Cost price or total cost total cost cost is number of goods times cost per one or price per one. That is the total cost price. If they have told us that the third about 50 goods, one at 4,000 error, we will know that 50 times 4,000 Naira is simply the total cost price. So, the total cost is simply the number of goods bought or the quantity times the cost per one. We already know that the cost per one is 4,000 Naira. If we are able to get the total cost price from here, it, is, it will be easy for us to look for the number of goods. So, let's focus on the question at hand, looking for the cost price. Percentage loss, so loss is 25% is equals 
cost price we don't have minus selling price 180,000 naira over cost price we don't have times 100 cross multiplying 25 cost price is equals 100 cost price minus 180,000 plus 20 so what did I do cross multiply then use 100 to multiply here that is what you should always do collecting like terms bringing 100 and this is 18 million 18 million if I'm correct is equals 100 cost price this is 25 as it crosses the equality sign to move to this other part it becomes minus because this minus move to this side to become plus minus 25 cost prime so this is 118 1 2 3 1 2 3 this equals 75 cost price so cost price is therefore equals 18 million naira divided by 75 thousand naira that is 18 million divided by 75 this is the cost price now that we know the cost price or this is the total cost price it is therefore sweet for us to say that the total cost price 240 thousand naira is equals the number of goods times 4000 naira cost per one so the number of goods bought will simply be 240,000 over 4,000 so that is the number of goods bought which if you cancel you get 240 divided by 4 so ladies and gentlemen the number of goods bought is equals 60 goods now that is answer to this question Two brothers invested a total of 5,000 Naira on a farm project. They invested a total of 5,000 Naira on a farm project. The farm yield was sold for 15,000 Naira. Selling price is equals 15,000 Naira. At the end of the season, if the profit was shared in the ratio 2 ratio 3 what is the difference in the amount of profit received by the brothers okay the brothers invested a total of 5000 naira let's call this the cost price on the farm project cost price is the amount you spend on something especially for business sake. Since the total amount they spent in this farm project or this farm business or farming was 5,000 Naira. After harvesting, they sold the produce for 15,000 Naira. Which means the profit is equals selling price minus cost price. And that is 15,000 Naira minus 5,000 Naira. That is 10,000 Naira. They actually made good profit. Now, selling this profit, uh, uh, making this profit, they shared it in the ratio of 2 ratio 3. Ratio is simply division or trying to compare two things. 2 ratio 3 can also be said to be 2 over 3. Now, how do you answer questions like this? If they shared it in the ratio, 2 ratio 3 the first thing you do when you see ratio question is find the uh, get the total ratio total ratio is 2 plus 3 that is 5 this is the total ratio if the total ratio is 5 it means the person taking the ratio of 2 we get 2 over the total ratio over 5 times 10,000 naira this is what the first person we get the second one which is having ratio of 3 we get 3 over the total ratio 5 times 10,000 
naira. Now look at it. The first person got 4,000 naira. The second one got 6,000 naira. And the beauty of ratio is that when you add the two, you get exactly the amount they share, 10,000 naira. This question is not interested in how much the first brother got. If they had asked us how much the first brother got, we would simply say 4,000 naira. Or if they had asked us how much the second brother got, we would simply say 6,000 naira. But the question says, what is the difference in the amount of profit received by the brother? The difference. Difference simply means minus. So minus uh, difference means how much this person got minus how much this person got. That is the difference. The difference is simply 6,000 naira minus 4,000 naira, which is equals 2,000 naira. So that is the difference in the profit which they shared. And that leaves option A to be the correct option. So, ladies and gentlemen, open your Flash Jam app, click on question search, click on ratio, open your Flash Analysis app again, or right here on the app, click on question search, click on profit, answer the questions that follow. If you have any issue, reach me on my social handles. See you in the next episode.